Hey guys, good afternoon. It's uh, Angelo Christian Financial. Thank you so much for watching our podcast, Real Estate Insider, where America goes for funding uh, for the last 20 years. You can call or text us at the number above, the 832-431-633 on our direct nationwide commercial and residential lender. Uh, and people come to our channel to get information, to get educated, empowered on finance, credit, lending, and obviously to get a loan. And so today we're actually talking about uh, job hopping and uh, getting a home loan. So one of the things that a lot of people are not aware of uh, when you're actually getting a mortgage loan, you want to be very careful and mindful uh, not to job hop. Job hopping and getting a mortgage is a big no-no. And I wanted to talk to you guys about this because we see it all too often. And unfortunately, uh, it can drastically affect you uh, for getting a home loan approval. You know, we get hundreds of phone calls every single week. Uh, about people that are trying to buy a house, they're you know transferring, they're moving, uh, they want to buy this home, they found this home, they fell in love with it, they got the credit, uh, they're making the income, they got the money for closing, but you know what? They just changed. They just changed their job, okay? And they went from one employer to a new employer, and all of a sudden their pays changed. You know, the, one of the biggest things that's going to affect you, one of the things that lenders look at, is your employment, your debt to income ratio. How do you make your money? How long have you been in your job for? How how consistent are you? Because they look at that as a correlation to your ability to repay the loan. Now, you may not think that's a big deal, but to underwriters and lenders, it's a huge thing. So the rule of thumb is you want to be very mindful of not job hopping when you're getting a home loan. Now, I'm not telling you to miss an opportunity if you have an opportunity that's been presented, but if you're changing the way you get paid, let's say that you get paid salary and you go to commission only, you're gonna to have to be on that commission only job for at least a year before you can get a home loan. If you are W-2 and now you're becoming self-employed, you're gonna to have to be self-employed for at least two years before you can get a home loan. So these are huge things because a lot of people, they don't understand this, they're not aware of it, so we're trying to make you guys aware so we can educate you and empower you. Uh, so what I'm telling you, what Angelo is saying is, you know, if you can, uh, just wait to job hop. Don't job hop. Stay at your job. Try to work it out the best you can until you close on your home loan uh, because you want to show consistency. You want to show that you have loyalty to your company. And, the, and that way you have the ability to repay the loan to appease the underwriting requirements. If they've seen you've had 10 jobs in the last two years, it's going to be a problem in underwriting, I promise you. All right. So just think twice. If you're thinking about planning because the biggest thing is about preparation is the key to success when getting the home loan. If you're thinking about buying the house in the next year, think twice about job hopping, okay? Because it could affect you from you getting approved to buy your home. And I don't want that to happen to you where you get denied last minute because uh, you jumped around to too many jobs and the nature of your pays change, your bonus structure, your commission structure, uh, your salary structure has changed and now you can't get approved for your home loan. And so that's why we make these videos because we see this, I mean, literally thousands of times per year. We feel very bad uh, for people that they get stuck uh, because they thought they were doing good by, you know, transitioning to a different company. But unfortunately, it shot them in the foot. So anyway, that's the biggest thing I want to talk about is, you know, now it's OK to go from one employer to another employer. If you can show consistency of your income, and let's say that you're on a salary, for example, and the new employer is paying you a salary and the previous employer was on a salary, that's justifiable, that makes sense. But if the nature of your pay is changing, um, then the underwriter can't really give you credit for a new job. Like let's say that you're, the new job is gonna pay you bonuses and commissions. Well, you haven't been there, you have no history. So this is where it comes to bite you in the butt because you, you just started this new job and they're paying you bonuses and commissions and, and you can't use it because you have no history. In order to use variable pay like bonuses, commissions, per diem, mileage, you have to have a history of at least one to two years before they even consider to give you a loan and let you use that income. So it's just something to be mindful of because most people are not just paid a straight salary, they're also paid many different types of pay. So anyway, be careful, be mindful of job hopping. If you're thinking about getting the home in the next year, call or text us at the number above. We can help you. We're here to help you. And please share this with anyone that you know that's thinking about buying a house or thinking about hopping jobs because they may want to think twice when they watch this video. So if we can help you, reach out to us. Give us a big thumbs up in the YouTube. If, if you have any comments, leave them down below. If you have any suggestions about videos for us to make, leave those down below too. We'd love to hear your feedback. 
Uh, and remember, you can always click on the link below to get signed up to get pre-approved Angelo Christian. Thank you so much for watching the channel. See you guys next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.